girl is getting control of this thing. Today is vlog mass. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Yes, your girl get her hair did. Yes, and I feel it myself. But that's not what we're about today. Today, I'm here to give you the scoop on the best Netflix Christmas movie that you need to watch. Okay? All right. All right. All right. So, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. And we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Okay? So, now is the perfect time. The perfect time to smash that subscribe button. Yes. It's a season of giving. So give me a Christmas gift and gift and subscribe to my channel right now, right now. Okay. All right. So let's get into why we're here. So in this video, I will be giving you some Christmas movie selection. And the first movie that we are going to talk about today is known as Jingle Jangle. So of course, Jingle Jangle is a Christmas movie. However, it is two hours long. So if you want something, you know, pretty decent, if you have a lot of time, then this is a perfect movie um, starring Forrest Whitaker, which it, it has a little magic and a bit of a sing-along. So if you're into that kind of sing-along kind of movie, then this would be perfect for you, you know, because it's here and there. So what this movie is about is that um, for a few decades after... Forrest had a trusted apprentice and then that apprentice betrayed him and stole his um, toy idea and then everything just went downhill for him. Right after which his granddaughter came into his life where he found new hope and all of that and he started creating toys again and Christmas was saved. All right. So if you are into a little magic sing along and Forrest Whitaker, then this is the Christmas movie for you. All right. So let's move on to Christmas movie number two. So this has been on Netflix for a little while and that is Princess Switch. Now this movie is about a Chicago baker named Stacy. Mm -hmm. Stacy without an E though and a soon-to-be princess who discovered that they look alike, you know, more like twins. And they met up when they, well, they discovered each other when Stacy the baker from Chicago went to Montenegro for a baking competition, which his sous chef had signed her up for. So now upon making it to Montenegro and both um stacy and margaret who met they decided to you know to switch for two days to so margaret would the princess would live the life of the baker and you know the baker would in the princess and you know what happened they both fell in love so margaret the princess fell in love with um stacy's sous chef and stacy fell in love with the prince and of course and of course, Stacy went on to marry the prince, okay? And the princess went on to live with the sous chef. But here's when it, things get more heated. Now you have to watch the princess switch, switched again. And this is literally part two of the princess switch. So now I'm getting into movie recommendation number three. All right. So remember, The Princess Switched, Switch Again is actually part two. All right. So this is when it gets even more twistier is when uh, Margaret, who has a long lost cousin who also resembles her, but she wanted to be queen. Okay. So Margaret and Stacy had decided that they were going to, you know, switch one more time because she, because Margaret wanted some time with the sous chef because they had broken up 
from part one. Okay, so Stacy was gonna act like the princess for a day while the actual princess of Montenegro would get the opportunity, you know, to make it up with the sous chef. And then the cousin came in and captured Stacy, who was acting as the princess and almost got crowned as the princess. You follow? You might not, but definitely you need to go watch the princess switch and the princess switch switched again you have to watch those two double decker all right it is very 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 nice okay Woo. yeah you gotta watch those two all right so let's continue to movie recommendation number four and this movie is called a very country christmas so this movie is about a country music star called Zane who wanted, um, you know, to take a break from all of the popularity being a celebrity. And so he decided to go and hide out in his hometown where he met an interior designer. Well, the actual interior designer who was designing um, his house and of course like a true fairy tale and at christmas it is they fell in love so if you're looking for some lovey dovey feel good kind of christmas fairy tale kind of thing then honey this is the movie for you all right all right so let me put my hair back you know so let's continue to movie number five, The Christmas Chronicles. Now, The Christmas Chronicles has been on Netflix for a hot minute. So you may have watched this before, but if you've never watched it, then this is the time. So this is an exciting Christmas movie with this slick talking Santa who was able to save Christmas after a brother and a sister accidentally crashed the sleigh and Santa even got arrested. Luckily, they were able to get bail and they happened to save Christmas, okay? All right, so like The Princess Switch, this movie has a part two. Now, part two has been recently released on Netflix. The Christmas, so movie recommendation number six is The Christmas chronicle number two all right so if you've already watched the christmas chronicles before then you can just move right on to watching part two so kate um was so kate is the you know the little sister who was on who is unhappy in part two with her with her mom's you know decision to enjoy Christmas in why is my lipstick coming off like that? To enjoy Christmas in Mexico um, with her new boo, Tyrese. So if you like Tyrese, he's definitely in this one. And she then got kidnapped by a wicked elf who turned human and then ended up in the North Pole, which eventually, of course, they managed to save. Christmas. So there's a little magic and all of that and Santa on the sleigh. A real, real, true um, Christmas edition. All right. So, yeah, you got to watch Christmas Chronicles and the Christmas Chronicle too. All right. So let's move on to recommendation number seven. Holiday. Okay. So this is about a girl who has been constantly been set up um, on dates with men by her mom. And she was not happy about this. She wasn't fond of it. So she got fed up with being single on holidays, you know, coming home with her sister, having a husband and all of that and that and that. So she met a complete stranger. They started talking. And guess what? They decided to be each other, each other's plus one 
throughout the year, all year long. So whether it's Christmas, um, whichever holiday it is, Valentine's, any holiday, Christmas, Thanksgiving, they would be each other's date. Mm? But guess what? They started catching feelings. Yes, they started liking each other, you know, and that put a little, you know, a little twist onto it. So definitely Holiday is a very, very, very um, good watch. It's more of a mature audience. So probably I'd say PG-13 um, for Holiday. All right. So let's move on to movie recommendation number eight. Uh, a Bad Mom's Christmas. Okay. So let me start off by telling you that this is um, for a mature audience. Um, these mom be, be wilding. So these mothers stressed me out. Okay. So this movie is a, with, with a trio, three girls. I think it's Amy, Carla and Kiki who Christmas was looking a little bit daunting and they weren't so excited about the whole Christmas. They didn't have the Christmas spirit and all of that. But then their moms showed up and started to turn everything in the true spirit of mom. They wanted to control everything and they now wanted to control their children and grandchildren's Christmas. Um, it's a funny um, twist and all. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Firefighters dancing on stage in Santa suit. So this, definitely this is a mature audience. It is mad hilarious. So definitely you got to watch A Bad Mom's Christmas. All right. So on to the last two recommendations. All right. So number nine is Holiday Rush. All right. So Holiday Rush has been on Netflix for quite some time. I have watched it. Um, I watched it last year. So I didn't have to watch it back this year, but it's a very good watch. And this is about a DJ, who a widowed DJ who um, had some very spoiled kids. But after losing his job at the radio station right before Christmas, he was on a quest to curb his children's um, spoiled lifestyle and luxurious lifestyle, you know, to fit one that is now on an employment budget and um it wasn't working out so well and who also finally found love after being widowed for a while and also ended up owning his own radio station this is in truth an inspiring christmas movie and a true black christmas movie so it is a definite must watch all right so number 10 so my number 10 um christmas movie recommendation is this christmas so this christmas is not new it is definitely not new i think it has been around for more than 10 years this christmas it's been a while because chris brown is in it and he was very young in that movie so it's probably about 10 or 12 years old yeah, it's a very um old Chris. It's I'm not gonna say old. It's a classic Christmas movie, and I know most of y'all have already watched it. Um, yes, my boo Idris Elba is in um this movie, so yeah, it's on my must watch. Um, Loretta Divine is in it. You know, she's everybody's mom. Um, so this is. This Chris, this classic black Christmas movie is about um, a family, you know, gathered to celebrate Christmas for the first time in four years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, everyone used this as a perfect opportunity, you know, to air out their true feelings and in the true spirit of Christmas, you know. Um, very, very, very nice. It's a classic, classic Christmas movie. And it is on top of my recommendation list, even though it's a very old movie. All right. So that's it for my top 10 Netflix movie recommendation. I hope that you will watch all 10 or watch the ones that you've never watched before. Let me know in the comment section which of these Christmas recommendations you've watched before or which ones you will be watching this Christmas. 
Remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel, and thank you so much for watching another episode of Vlog Mass. Okay? Okay? See you in another Vlogmas video. Bye!